you're gonna get... Your... Yeah. Your eyes. Go ahead and wash them real quick. Because that is not what you were supposed to be seeing at all. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in our GM if we can. Because we've got beautiful... Wait. Okay, one, I clicked everything in the wrong order. Two, Animal Crossing's not a bad game, Jeff. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna race it, right? Wait, you and I? Uh... I, I guess so, I I'm, guess so. I'm challenging you to an Animal Crossing race. Okay, uh, yeah. And the yeah. winner gets to pick, uh, what game is going to go to our competitors today. I don't know what you're doing, Jeff. Okay. But I, I guess we're playing Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah. Uh, let, let me actually get into the game just a second. Uh, da, da, mouse grab toggle, blah, blah, blah. Okay. It says Animal Land, not Animal Crossing, Jeff. Uh, it's the new DLC, Animal Land. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I need this Tin Tin music to go away go away uh and i want to make sure that i don't accidentally destroy everybody's eardrums because this is the first time i've run retroarch uh on specifically this stream so let me let me open oh animal two or animal one animal one. Oh no i did the wrong one jeff i'm losing already oh, no. why would you do animal two i just want i don't know i don't know jeff okay oh my gosh Oh my gosh. Okay, load. I'm loading. Jeff, I'm going to do it. It's fine. Okay, we're going to have Animal Land for the for Nintendo Animal Crossing Nintendo 64 is what we're playing really quick. Uh can can you beat it this quickly? I mean, I can. I don't know about you. Wow. Okay, I feel judged now. How can you play Animal 2 without knowing the story of Animal 1? Exactly. Well, let's go ahead and jump into Animal Land The story one. is very important. Don't skip the story. I think my mouse cursor tried to fall asleep there. Uh, yeah, it'll do that. Yeah, so Jeff had been talking to me about an April Fool's thing and just starting with some other game. Ah! Jeff? This music? Yes. She's turned all the animals right? in Animal Land into numbers, and I'm going to need your help. Okay. Uh, will you help me turn all the numbers back into animals? We will travel to the different lands in my balloon. Click. We will need to remember where the animals live by their numbers so that you can help me write the numbers in my book. So if Madam... <laughs> this music. Oh my gosh. If Madam Zulch tries... To change the animals again, I can use my book. People aren't seeing me shake my head because of the, <laughs> the misspellings there. <laughs> Come, let's not waste. Oh my gosh. Absolutely incorrect. <laughs> wow, these animals in Animal Crossing need to go to school. Okay, any more pre precious time? My balloon is waiting for us. Okay, well, let's fly, Jeff. All right. Whee! I gotta tell you, this is a tough game to figure out. Okay. A blastinous. This is what won you over in order to be a, a sub <laughs> from Twitch Prime. You're like, oh yeah, Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Loading. Uh, did it just crash for you? No. Nope. Give it a. Oh. <laughs> How did you do that? I don't know. Mine is working. What? Okay, okay, that's okay. Let's get through the intro really fast. Yeah, I win, FYI. Actually, uh, ignore everybody. You remember this screen from your favorite Cusa Grande matches, right? Uh, oh, that's... Okay, here's the deal, Jeff. What? The uh, config file that you sent over reset everything here. <laughs> Oh, geez. So, so let me fix that real quick. Okay, there we go, you know. It was working before, before Jeff tried to fix it. Because it wasn't broken, Jeff. It wasn't broken. All right. Well, I just wanted to make sure that we were using the same config. Okay. 
Okay, come on. I got to get through through this. I got to get through the intro. Michael Wilson, thank you. Amos Professionals, thank you. Okay. Let's go. Wee. Okay. I hope it loads this time. Because we don't have <laughs> an hour to play this. We've got like 5 minutes just about. What's happening right now, Karazi? Jeff challenged me to a race of a game that he's played all the way through. Yes, it did say let's not waste. Oh, I'm getting in there. Woodland. Hang on, let me wait for you. Okay. So I use numpad for this? Exactly. Yeah, I know Jeff's a big, bad uh, cheater. Word does officially end. Okay. Yes, number five. <laughs> glub, glub, glub. Yeah, I'm kicking butt. This fish is really slow. Word does officially end. Oh, it lives. Please try again. Fine. Yes, number four. <laughs> I tried number two. I thought it was going to be two. Jeff. It's okay. You're allowed to make mistakes. Okay, okay. Are you sure? The robot tells me yes when I get it right. And no when I get it wrong. Okay. Where does a rabbit live? Uh, one. Yes, number one. Yeah. Hopping on over to the right, gonna munch on the hill. Where does a howl live? Yes, number two. Yeah, robot. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hoo, hoo close race yeah this is going really well where does the mole live yes number three yeah i'm a little bit ahead but honestly you know you have lag because of the stream whatever i'm kicking your butt jeff <laughs> well we'll see i don't know it gets harder it gets harder i i hope i hope so okay well we got the moles well done now try level two okay I can do that, robot. <gasps> We're going to farmland. Ah. Aha. Yeah, what are the speed strats here? I, I was trying to mash through the numbers, but I failed. I mean, the speed strats are to know where animals live. Okay. Uh, I Yeah, I've, I've done a little research on that topic. Apparently Please not. You get again. squirrels wow. and owls confused. I got the horse wrong. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, number eight. Okay. <laughs> no. ah! The horse was really loud. I didn't know where the horse lived. I'm sorry. Where does the cow live? It's gotta yes, live over six. there. Oh mm. yes, we got the cow. Oh, look at the stinky guy. Yeah, or girl. Or I I don't know. I don't just whatever you are, Cal. Whatever you are. Uh yeah, everybody welcome to our pre-match match. Oh, it's got yes, a live. Number seven. Over <gasps> there. <gasps> oh, jeez, the animals are so loud. Yes, number 7. <laughs> yeah, this is animal Where does crossing. It Yes, number nine. Quack, quack. Whoa, the ducks. Whack, whack. Fortunately, that no geese. Is my favorite animal so far. Okay, I think I won. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, it's not over yet. Level three. Level three? Memory test. Okay, memory test. Count okay. with me. One. Two. Three, what am I doing here? Four, You're following five, the instructions, right? Because at the six, beginning, it told you to write down seven, the number that each animal eight, was so that you can put it into the book. Nine, no, it's a memory test. Ten. Sure. What number was the fish? Uh, what number was the fish? What number was the fish? Uh, what? What number was a fish? What number was a duck? I don't know. 
What number was a duck? I don't know. I have no idea. What number was a duck? Okay, no, chat is right. There are four lights? What does that mean? No, my name's not Picard. Uh... What number was a cow? Like, I didn't what understand any cow? of this. What number was a squirrel? What number was a squirrel? What number was a squirrel? <laughs> This game hates me. What number was a horse? The horse! What is the- What number was a horse? Jeff, I'm losing! What number was a rabbit? Oh, shoot. What number was a rabbit? I don't know. Two. What number was a rabbit? Oh, it was what one. Was okay. Mole? The mole. The mole was like- three. What number oh was gosh. a mole? <gasps> what number was a owl? The owl. What okay. Number was a chicken. Chicken. Chicken was seven. Okay. I figured this one out now. Okay, I figured out how to do it. Try a little harder next time. Seven out of nine. What number was the cow? Do I want to try again? Jeff, do I have to beat this mini game? Uh No. That's good enough. It's hard to say who won because of the stream Yeah. Oh, geez. So well, let's just, let's, I mean, we basically tied, right? Okay, and we, tie goes to me. What? Jeff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this is my stream. So this I get to decide what happens. Not your stream. You <laughs> are not the dictator of this stream. That's, so oh. we're going to play a game now about a fox. Uh, are you sure? Um, Maybe. Because I looked at the, the, cover and that's definitely a woman well you might be getting confused women and foxes but it's definitely a fox uh, well, so we're gonna be playing a game called vixen which is about a fox okay <laughs> so we're not doing animal crossing anymore well this is um not animal crossing it's uh but, but it's fox crossing, pretty much. Oh, fox crossing. Okay. What? But it's a lady. I know vixen means female fox in English. But so, like, what? what is going on here, Jeff? I... Are, is she going to turn into a fox? There might be some transformation involved. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's going to be one of those streams. <laughs> uh, I love this it. This is the Amiga version, even though it says PC disc on the screen. Okay. This we... is the only um, box art we have. Yeah, as it turns out, this game wasn't exactly popular. Well, it's a German game, so it didn't get um, as much traction here in the U.S., uh, but it's more popular than most of the games I give out. Oh, well, that's that might be helpful. I'm not completely sure. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> everybody, I am just working on getting layouts sorted for this uh, because it's Amiga. I'm probably going to have to recapture after a little while. Oh, Jeff, I think I won the Animal Crossing race. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I felt that I was in there. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, run. it could be. We so, should have had a, a timer. Uh, we so did have a timer. Plus. Yeah. I was like sub three. You were not sub three. Shut up. <laughs> when sub I say I was is... like sub three, that doesn't mean I was. Sub three. I... I'm going to go read through the assembly code to figure out if that's even possible, because unless you have the human element, I don't think you can get sub three. Well, maybe I have a human elephant, and that's all that matters to me. Don't judge my elephant. All right. Well, you all saw it here, the new Animal Crossing DLC uh, world record speedrun. Yeah. Uh, someone yeah, who doesn't was... know whether... Uh, where, where squirrels live. I didn't even... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeff, you got, you got, like, the cow one wrong. I saw... Or something. 
the chicken. See, here's what was happening is I had I have your audio. Um, I, have, I have the Kuso audio, and I also have my audio. So I was getting confused which one it was telling me to do. Okay. Uh, well, I'm glad that that confusion is over. By the way, who's going to be doing game audio for us if you... I believe Violet Hour. Aha. Uh -huh. That's right, everybody. This is Kuso Grande, the Bad Video Game Tournament. In just a couple minutes, we will be seeing the players race in a video game that they have never seen or played. Guess what? It probably is going to be bad. With a name like Vixen, though, where can you go wrong? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, that's reassuring. <laughs> just like, no, trust me. Trust me, everybody. This is this is a German video game. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's true. It it is you a German gotta, video game. Me. Have I ever have I ever misled or steered you wrong on video game selection? I mean, Don't answer that. <laughs> I, I was I was gonna say, uh, wait and see. <laughs> because holy crap, that game was a pile of butts. Oh, at the same time, I kind of love it. It was uh, it was an experience. Uh, if you have to actually beat the game, that would not be fun. But um, it's uh, it was it was a good uh, it was a good match. I oh it. yeah, it was it was fantastic. I'm just doing one last final check to make sure I actually do have everything captured right, looking good. Um, there was dinosaur I gave out, but that was a 5B at the end. That didn't count. <laughs> Everybody, this is our four-way race going on. Now, it's very important that they take uh, a, a pretty high place. They can still stay in no matter which place they come in for this match, but it's going to be much, much harder if they come in fourth. So that's the biggest thing, hoping for not fourth for all of these players. But that can't happen because we got four. Somebody has to be in last. Oh, no. You mean somebody's going to have to stop suffering soon? Uh, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, no, they still know. have to suffer. Wow. But we go a little easier on them. That's really, really cruel, Jeff. <laughs> okay, I am checking with them right now to see if they are ready to roll. Uh, I would say everybody spam all of your Vixen-related emotes. That includes foxes, uh, foxes or ladies or, <laughs> or, <laughs> well, pretty much those two. Spam away, everybody. Okay, because I am doing the countdown. Bubsy is totally not a fox. Absolutely not a fox. Oh, I like seeing these, though. <laughs> yeah, spam, everybody. Spam until you die. Wait, you don't have to die. I guess Mulan is kind of kind of a fox. Yeah, I'd, she's she's good. As soon as I see movement, I will start our timer. And there we go, Szechuan Steve. Okay, let's right. talk about this game. Why is it dark? First off, uh, I don't. I, it's hard to know whether that's an emulation issue or if it's designed that way. Um, but uh, some of the games just ended up being kind of dark. All right, and don't worry, everybody. I'll be making these streams look bigger for you in just a little bit. Stop yelling! Stop yelling! My gosh, they won't stop yelling, Jeff. With these kind of obscure games. I, that sort of I've only ever been able to see in emulator form. It's kind of hard to know what the original was intended to be like. It's true. Like, I don't, you know, we, we assume that this is the correct speed, but certainly possible that they uh, wanted it to be a little faster, or a little slower, and we just uh, don't know. We just don't know. See, this is why preservation is so important, you know? The the developers made something unique, something that, you know, uh, has very rarely been seen, at least outside of Germany. And, uh, yeah, I think it's... 
I, I think it's super important to have this Rare. preservation stuff. Upwards what? of three people have played this game in the past. Oh, really? I think. Oh, okay. I mean, there's like a playthrough on YouTube. So you're so actually just... Like yeah, that, upwards so... of one. And I played it. That's two. And then... <laughs> I'm not sure I... you're a human, Jeff. <sighs> Bro. <laughs> Jeff, you just made me play Animal Crossing and then claim that I lost when I cl very clearly, very clearly was the best Animal Crosser. I mean, it's really not about who wins the game first, but, uh... I mean, it sort of is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not a, it's not all about winning. I had more fun. <laughs> so I'm the real winner. Wow. Oh, Jeff's a lawyer? <laughs> oh, yeah, by default you win. Good job, Jeff. I don't want to get sued. Are you going to take me to court over this? All right, so <laughs> let, let me let me talk a little bit about the the actual game that's being played here. Um, so, uh, so you as you can see, you are this uh, vixen, and um, it's pretty straightforward as a as a platformer. But the twist to this is that there are these um, animal heads that you can collect, and I can't tell exactly what they're supposed to be. I think they're supposed to be foxes, but they don't look like foxes. They look kind of... They look like foxes. Wolf. They look a little wolf-like. Well, well I guess what? They're kind of a little bit related. Well, maybe, but they're supposed to be foxes. <laughs> so when you get all of the foxes, you get a bonus. When, when your fox meter gets to the top, you get a bonus round. Okay? Oh, yeah. And, okay. Uh, and that's, that's where you see the thing happening on Sejuan Steve's um, screen. <gasps> yeah, look at it. Eat the headstones. Poop out gems. That's what I like to see. <laughs> so is it good when you turn into a fox? Well, you know, that's a tough call because, you know, they I, I don't think they were intending this to be played in a race setting but for for high score um and so people are going to need to figure out whether it's actually worth going through these bonus rounds um if you can get to... lots of extra lives then it might be yeah um so i guess the the good ending for this you want to get all of the gems um, that you see at the at the top of the screen, you never know which bonus levels are going to have the the gems, the right gem that you need to go to the top of the screen, and which are just ones for points. What are what's at the top of the screen? Oh, oh Can yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the gems go, you just I don't know. know which ones are going to work. Yeah. Well, that's so, not helpful. So you gotta keep playing this game over and over until you go to all the bonus levels and collect all the gems. Okay. And then and then that would be good. But you can beat the game just fine without any of the gems. So they need to figure out uh, whether it's worth taking their time to go through these bonus levels or not. If you, uh, you fail the bonus level by falling into the water, and then you just sort of drift along underneath the water until okay. you get to the next area. That's fun. Drifting. Oh my gosh, the crouch walking animation is so good. That's the right? first time I saw it over on tail screen and beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so I see a different background on Violet Hour's screen than everybody else. Is that time related or is it stage related? You oh, the crawling way. ends the level. It's just different colors, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that how you tell what level they're on? I think so. Yeah, Violet did game the over. Have, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but um, it, it, it should say on the screen what level you're on when you finish the level. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. I think just the background color is a good way in general for us to see how oh, far I they've see. made it. Uh, mm -hmm. And Tails is onto one. Was that a fox head? Oh, yeah, no. Doing. Why are there so many dead foxes? This game just got a lot less happy. 
everybody. This is Cusa Grande, and we are so sad. <laughs> One of the things that's kind of weird about this game is, like, picking up those uh, fox heads that are in the balls hanging from the birds. Yeah. Whatever those are. Um, you actually have to whip them to pick them up. You can't just touch them. Uh, okay. So I, I think that's a good thing. Uh, because it means that uh, you can not get them if you want to not get them. If you want to not go to the bonus area. I, yeah. I still think that it might be worth it if it gives you extra lives. Yeah, it gives you score to get extra lives. You know... And this game also has a, a timer on it, so you don't want to spend too, too long on the levels. I think it's generally a, a pretty generous timer. Um, and it, uh, it can, ex uh, you can get um, items that extend it, but. Okay. That sounds like it might take a little bit of, not just work, maybe, maybe a lot of work in order to get there. Oh, I like this music. Do, 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 the music's solid. Oh, the music is all so good. Uh, okay, so I, I'm i taking a look, by the way, at uh, this company, because this game came out in 1988, which honestly... Pretty impressive. The, I don't know. Mario was out. It had a frame rate. This doesn't. Uh, all right. Like, it, it still is fairly impressive, uh, but it definitely... Like, graphically, the sprites are really, really well done. And the animation yeah. is pretty fluid for uh, the vixen on the screen. Uh, yeah. However, oh, geez, it just feels really jank. Well, yeah, but that's its charm. Are you sure? Is the, is the PC found... version this jank, or is it just this one? I actually didn't play the PC version um it looked uh looked a little bit better <laughs> oh okay well that's hopeful uh <laughs> looks aren't always everything better. the bad thing that's... is I, i'm seeing that most of the people who worked on this for programming only really worked on like a few games there's one this is his only game one first game out of two so you know they didn't exactly have uh you know the the experts coming over from Nin or nintendo commodore whatever and helping with this game oh geez. no these yeah. uh these, these folks were were pretty much on their own but it is kind of a neat concept to have these um these bonus levels that you get to by um increasing a meter at the top i haven't seen something exactly like that um and also the i mean the whole bonus levels are, are kind of an, an interesting concept but i don't know that they were a good concept but it certainly is a little different than your typical platformer it, it is yeah uh i i like to see things that are a little bit different that take a different approach you know it's sort of a it, it's very much linear where you need to go in here uh, but at the same time, at, at least there's combat to keep you entertained, question mark. Uh, and it does look like the levels do get progressively more difficult. Especially yeah. with these, oh, whatever's chasing uh, TSD up at the top right. By the way, I I've took a look, and this music is really good, and I, I think that there is a pretty good reason. It's Jas Brook, uh, the same person who did the music for Savage. And Stop Space it! Harrier, yeah, uh, and also a version of Ikari Warriors. Let's go ahead and forget that. How about a version of Contra? Uh, like, th oh. this person does know what they're doing, and this music rocks. They also ended up working on uh, programming for Nicktoons Racing, which is surprisingly probably the best is it Nicktoons? No, I don't know. I think I was thinking of a different one. It's the best. <laughs> I really like it when some of these 
early games had uh, some people who were extremely talented and who went on to do uh, really cool stuff. And uh, you, you just wouldn't hear this audio unless you were, um, you know, looking in the weird places I look for games. Oh, yeah. Right? It's not on many uh, chiptune remixes. Yeah. Huh. It looks like TSD got a whip upgrade uh, in this bonus area. So that is actually sort of speaking my language of what this could be helpful for. Honestly, if you can go use that whip as the lady, if it extends your whip, then that's probably really good. Yeah, this game is basically, you know, Castlevania. Before Castlevania. Well, never mind that it was after, after Castlevania. Castlevania. <laughs> yeah, that that's a really good reach now. Honestly, I think that upgrade is worth it. <clears throat> The thing is, all you need really is one good attempt through this game. If you are able to uh, make the most progress in a single attempt, uh, then going a little bit slower is not a bad idea. Honestly, that's sort of what I'm thinking right now. If I were playing this, I would want to take my time early on. Uh, there is a yeah. timer at the top left, but it doesn't really seem super strict. I haven't seen anybody run out, and I didn't have any issues with the timer when oh, yeah. I was playing it. I, you end up um, dying to enemies long before you would run out of the timer. Do, 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 do. Oh, bam, there have bam, been a bam. couple timeouts, huh? Oh, jeez. Steve apparently took one one time. Okay, question though, if Cadus noticed that, do you lose all your lives at timeout or just one? Oh, one life and refills the timer. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Tails turning into a fox. I mean, Tails is a fox, but... <laughs> but this is a a non-anthro fox that is being turned into. You mean it's a fox? <laughs> <laughs> well, as opposed to Tails. I don't... Tails is a Sonic, okay? He's <laughs> not... He's... I... I, I don't know. They're, they, they're unique in their own right. I don't think they're necessarily one or the other, you know? He's got hands, but he also has two tails. Guess what? Humans don't have that. And foxes don't have that. So what are you, Tails? A monster? <gasps> You're gonna have a lot of people upset at you. <laughs> oh, so angry. <laughs> oh, everybody, don't cry. So I guess the the idea is that this is taking place in sort of an Amazon-like um aesthetic but it, it's like a prehistoric world you have all the dinosaurs and birds and foxes <laughs> oh so, yeah i'm not entirely <laughs> i like the background okay the background reminds me of the 80s <laughs> just the lines yeah because a lot of video games had lines like that but it's, true. it's a really cool way of doing shading that doesn't take up too much memory. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually really dig the look. Oh, no! Steve falls into the drink. <laughs> hey. So the, con the controls are pretty bad. And I, I think you can probably tell that from the number of times people are dying when it doesn't otherwise look like it would be that hard you know there's some enemies on the screen but people keep dying to things like falling into the water <laughs> oh yeah i'm i'm glad that all of the players are collecting some of the fox heads in order to experiment with uh with this i i don't know if they're checking to see if there are any bonuses or any big benefits to going through here. But honestly, uh, yeah, like looking at Violet Hour, Violet Hour just rushed out of there. No time bonus, yep. no kill bonus, no gem bonus. There's no bonus, Jeff. Where'd my bonus go? 
Well, people can choose to forego a bonus. I don't want to um, forego a bonus. I want a bonus. Jeff, give me a bonus. You know what? When you play this game, you will. I will let you have little a bonus as a yes. treat. Yes. Ah, oh, little a bonus. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so the instructions I gave them is that the progress metric that we're using to see who wins is just what level you get to. And they should use their own judgment for figuring out whether they want to pick up bonuses uh, or other collectibles. So you do see people taking somewhat different strategies. And you can also, if you are going the bonus route, uh, there's no RNG there. So once you know which are the useful upgrades uh, and where the most gems are located, you could just go there and skip the remainder of the level. Wait, every time you do it, it's the no, same? There's, there's, yeah, every time, well, each, you know, the- Per level? Bonus after level one will always be the same. The bonus okay, after- Okay, gotcha. Better. So you can figure out, all right, well, I really want, uh, you know, level four, because that's where there's the upgrade I want, so. Um, you can time it to do that, and you know that level four will always have the upgrade that you want. Okay, I like it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we're getting this slow revelation from you about what strategies could be effective. Honestly, at this point, uh, I think that it's TSD who's in the lead. I'm not 100% sure, but honestly, you know... Uh, out of all the players, he was able to get, I think it was 13 lives at one point. Yeah, they're, they're pretty generous with lives in this game, but they're also stingy in that they take the lives. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how video games work. Not, all of the, not, not too many video games will just hand you, you know, 10 lives at the beginning and have free lives all over the place like this, but... Um, I mean, bootlegs do. Oh, bootlegs do that a lot. They're like, we have to give you 50 lives that. because our yeah. game kind of <laughs> isn't fair. It's kind of yeah. bad, so 100 lives, player. <laughs> That's true. And the bosses will take 3,000 hits. Yeah, why is it every bootleg you can either kill the boss in like two hits or 500? There's no in between. That's just how it is. Because uh, they decide this boss will be easy or this boss will be hard. And then that was how they figured out what easy or hard would be. Couldn't they choose medium? No. Why would you ever choose medium? I like my eggs medium. I like my bosses medium too. Well, clearly you're not in the business of uh, selling video games in the 1980s. 90s. Duh. To, to, um, I was a baby in the 80s. At least at one point in the 80s. You were a baby? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a rough time in my life. I don't like to talk about it. Uh... <laughs> so we're just about 20 minutes in. Uh, now entering bonus level for Steve. Yeah. I did not hatch from an egg. How could people even accuse me of that? <laughs> For those who are asking about the bonus levels and the practical benefit, there are some upgrades hidden there, and I believe you may be able to get extra lives as well. Not 100% sure, but that's my theory. Yeah, uh, there's like that whip upgrade, you get points and gems. Um, yeah, and we all know that old school video games really like to give extra lives based off of the number of points you get. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case here. Yeah. I don't know if it is though, Jeff. Uh, I I believe it is. I don't remember exactly how many. Uh, hey, points are. Steve has five gems. Nice. And twelve lives. But the last the last two of them are kind of shaded. What does that mean? No, the third one is as well. They're all shaded. No, like the 
the fourth and fifth ones like aren't fully there. Wait, so they don't count as complete gems, Jeff? I, I'll count them. <laughs> okay, but the, does the game? I I seem to recall that they get um, uh, they 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 change. Uh, they'll okay. they'll get um, more clear, brighter. So wait, okay, I'm confused. Why have collectible gems? But only five if they're supposed to collect more. Like, you could put ten across. Yeah, You've got really room under... in the UI. <laughs> I never really understood uh, that part exactly. I mean, you get you get points for getting all the gems, but then you can just, you know, you get five of them, but you can keep getting them. Steve apparently got 5,000 points for having... Uh, for having five gems at the end of the bonus. Yeah, you get the, the gem bonus at the end of the level, but I mean, getting getting six in the level doesn't do anything more than getting five. What does the skull and crossbones do? Like, I because I saw Steve pick it up and something flashed and I, he didn't die. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an it's enemy weird. bomb. Just... Okay, kills the bad guys. Yeah, it's actually a good thing, because um, you know when you see skull and crossbones in a video game, you're like, Ooh, it's pirates. Stay away from that. Oh yeah, usually oh, yeah. Pirate. But there's no. There probably should be pirates in this game, to be honest. Maybe the vixen is also a pirate. Aha! We've got a lady, half woman, half pirate, half. Fox just running around, whipping birds, stealing gems. This is my type of adventure. This is like, if I go back to South America, this is how I'm going to live the rest of my life, okay? So, I'm not entirely sure. Oh no, Steve! <laughs> like, they, they blend the aesthetic of, like, the Amazon with prehistoric times. Yeah. You got, like, the dinosaurs. So I'm not sure exactly where this is supposed to be taking place. And then you have a fox in there for some reason. The Amazon's really big, Jeff. My have is really dinosaurs. Big. Well, I, I'm saying other places have dinosaurs, had dinosaurs as well. And well, I like mean, them. not today, though. And I've never gone through all of the Amazon, so it could be there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. the Amazon. Amazon probably does not have dinosaurs today. You have the, the coconut wow. palm trees, um, which I... I think I they have know. these bird hands with balls as well. That's that's almost... Yeah, the, the sphere there almost looks like a jabuchikaba, uh, except that it would be growing on the trunk instead of, you know, on, on the end of the leaves. But yeah, I, I could see that being in the Amazon. Yeah. So I also haven't figured out exactly what the um, the things that look like gravestones are supposed to be. That so, where the gems are stored. By the way, I want you to know, Jeff, it looks like TSD has made it to level 9, uh, but did get a game over. That is still a solid lead. Steve, yeah. though, is having a really good push. Look, he still has 7 lives going into this. Uh, TSD ended on stage 9. Uh... Let's see what the other players are able to do now. I, I believe Violet Hour and TSD are both back near the beginning of the game. I wish it had the uh, the level on the HUD. It would be a little bit easier to see what's going on, but for now we'll just rely on uh, the color of the screens to remind us what level we're on. And of course at the end of the level it shows you. But like the the things where the gems are, they look like just colorful gravestones to me. I'm not entirely sure what they're supposed it's to be. Like a, or fingers. Fingers, yeah, and colored yeah, fingers. They could be colored fingers, and uh, you just have to collect, like break the finger, grab the gem. Oh right, that um, that works in many situations. By the way. 
If you break their finger, they're going to be too worried about their finger to care about the gems for a second, you know? Got it. Uh, Kate's pointing out that actually the, the colors in the background, I'd forgotten about this, um, it's like uh, supposed to be a sunset, and when it gets to be, uh, the sun goes down, you run out of time. Ah, uh, so I do have a little bit of the story here. There's uh, a story, wow. There okay. is some. I actually kind of want to go hunting for more information as well, but this is a very brief summary of the story. The <laughs> Vixen is the last human on the planet Granoth, which is now ruled by a race of dinosaurs. She has been raised by foxes and intends to follow through on a promise she made to her elders to wipe them out and restore the planet to humanity. How many freaking furry games have we had? Just last... Like, just the last two <laughs> weeks, okay? She's the last human raised by foxes can turn into them for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> So, and then she's going to, what, repopulate the planet? Sure. Being the last human? Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, That's going to take some cloning or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, they had to change the name in German because uh, it's pronounced in a way that is obscene. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so they renamed it to She-Fox instead of Vixen. Yeah, I've heard the game also referred to as She Fox. Um, so that's the German name, huh? Yep. <laughs> well, isn't it? Is it like um, a word for fox that has like different genders, and they just pick the like the female gender? Is that how they do it, or is that not a thing in German? I don't know. Uh, like there, there are genders in German, but. It... Now, this is coming from my knowledge of Portuguese, so it could be incorrect, because uh, fox is always going to be pronounced uh, haposa with an A at the end. doesn't matter if it's male or female. So I'm, I'm not sure about German. It's a mystery. But for now, we'll, we'll just call it she-fox. Yeah. Or Vixen, it's fine. All of you fans over in Germany, uh, just uh, take take into consideration that uh, this was not made in Germany. <laughs> That's all I've got. That's all I've got. I can't say anything else. Oh, geez, I'm I'm looking up some more information about this game, and that is not the game. Uh, <laughs> You gotta be careful when you search for things like Vixen and She Fox. Yeah, you really do. Just just <laughs> FYI. <laughs> oh, those points. They sound so satisfying. I want them, Jeff. Give me the points. You want points? Yeah. I'll give you points. How many points? I'll give you a hundred points. Oh my gosh. No one's ever done that for me before. Really? 100. 100 point and a gold star. And a what? And a gold star. Gold stars are condescending. Okay. <laughs> All right, fine. You a get a gold star, star dude. Da, da. <laughs> You're a stupid moron who likes a gold star stickers. <laughs> you like stickers, you dummy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you're a teacher. <laughs> I've never given anyone stickers because I teach college. <laughs> Wait, college? I would have been so happy if I got a sticker. Like, if I did well on, like, my chemistry exam and there was a sticker on it, I would have been so psyched. Yeah, I'm... Oh my gosh, Jeff, I'm trying to remember because I think that uh, when I was going through the grad school program and went through... A, uh, training to be an instructor at the university. The people who were training us, I think we're planning to do elementary ed stuff because they were talking about using crayons in the classroom and I'm like, this is college. And an English class, why would we use crayon? I did it once because they like were highly pushing it. They're like, do the crayons, do the crayons, Brian. 
And I'm like, okay, okay, I'll do crayons. And it was a really sucky lesson because guess what? College students don't like being treated like children. Except in Utah, I guess. <laughs> Actually, so yeah, it's a coin you... flip. It's a coin flip, you know? Uh, yeah. Showing scenes from... Uh, from the producers or PG-13 movies or even showing uh, Dr. Horrible. Uh, yeah, I got complaints about that one. But yeah, Dr. <laughs> Horrible, as it turns out, apparently is too lewd for Utah. Uh, but then... You make people use crayons, and that's that's going too far, too far in the extreme. Okay. So is is this game too lewd for Utah? Like, are you allowed to be? You can't show this? your sh your your shoulders. So, I think that based off I the cover alone of the game, based off of the cover of the game, yes, too lewd for Utah. Oh wow, you're an outlaw. Well, I mean, she she's doing a pose. She's got that '80s hair. You know, looks like she's from a rock band showing skin. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I could see yeah, many places arguing that this might need a little bit more. Or being like, I'm not buying this for my son. Let's go ahead and buy Mario. Yeah. You wanted a, you wanted a lady in a bikini? Well, now you get a plumber <laughs> in overalls. <laughs> How do you like that, son? I could see this being, um, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll, we're okay with Wolfenstein 3D now. <laughs> we don't want you to play this, but that we'll, we'll get you that as an alternative. That'll satisfy you. Violence is just whatever. Yeah, I honestly, I think about my dad, and like this would have been zero percent a problem. But I do know some people probably would have thought maybe this was pushing good taste wise. I don't know. Uh oh, don't... come on. Everything on Kuso Grad is pushing it good taste-wise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. That's fair. No, I I also know my dad would make a joke about this woman, and then my mom would hit him. <laughs> <laughs> just, just gotta say, just speaking the truth here, wouldn't be a hard hit, just one of those knock it off. Just a little bop. Uh, you get we... those knock it off hits. <laughs> what? You, you said it would just be like a little little hit, not a big one, just a little knock. Oh, it off. well, it depends Did on the day, and depends on who found out. You know. Oh. Ah. Uh, play Athena again. We gotta get you to knock that off. Oh my gosh. Athena's a punishment in and of itself, you know? I feel like being punished for playing Athena <laughs> is probably the worst fate that you could ever live. That's like, yeah, childhood no child should ever have. See, but I liked Athena as a kid because I played it just be I, I liked the colors. I didn't really care about whether I made progress or not. Yeah, so... I really like the um, the the thing that was a... I guess it's supposed to be a flame sword, but I thought it was a giant violet. Uh, yeah, it sort of looks like a guitar. Or a violin. guitar, yeah. Yeah. But it's definitely a sword. So, I didn't know that. Just so you know, by the way, the order currently looks like it's uh, TSD, Steve... Tails and then Violet. Uh, there's still plenty of time. Remember, with games like this, they're short enough that you only need one good push. One good push, you take the victory. You know, it's a good thing that um, the weapon, the only weapon she has, is a whip. Because if you're in a land of hostile dinosaurs, that's pretty much the thing you want to have. Do, 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 do. A whip. Well, it would scare them. I I can't imagine dinosaurs are too fond of the cracking noise. <laughs> I mean, you do that, and lizards they either just look at you or run away. 
Like, well, this, these lizards aren't running away. These lizards are bipedal for some reason. <laughs> bipedal. 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 Uh, <laughs> They're bipedal, bipedal alright. That's how we pronounce it in Utah. <laughs> yeah, look at all those bipedal animals running around. So she's so this is some some non Earth planet somewhere that somehow has dinosaurs and humans coexisting at the same time. Well, no, she's the last human. They don't have the last human. Yeah, the others have been killed. She was raised by foxes. Don't you right. remember the story that I read? <laughs> right, but this isn't even on Earth. So how did the humans get there? <laughs> Rocket ship. Freaking Elon Musk, okay, invested in this journey to this planet Grathar or whatever the crap it is. And he's like, yeah, we're going to settle here. And, you know, we're also going to do dinosaur DNA experiments because I am a really nutty rich man. And so they, they did both of those. Bam! Experiments actually worked with the dinosaurs. <laughs> dinosaurs all over the place, okay? And humans are like well that that was a mistake they're eating all the greenery and stepping on us and i'm pretty sure samantha just got bitten in half and i like samantha <laughs> so yeah all, all of the humans died luckily they brought foxes for some reason and uh this lady she the vixen she doesn't even know her name she speaks in fox she goes <laughs> you know <laughs> That meme will leave that that video and that meme will live forever. I don't know what video you're talking about, but what does the fox say? No, that it's, the song. they make it's a song. I, and there's I, a music video. Oh wow, it's a song. Okay, I know about the song, Jeff. I know you know about the song, but have you seen the video? Yeah, yeah, I've seen the okay. video. Okay, so. That's, that's all I was referencing. I'm just saying it'll live forever. I'm offended. But it probably will. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> with that said, they make really disturbing noises. It's like, well, you're trying to be cute, but I'm kind of terrified right now. And yeah, that's, that's just how it goes. <sighs> Anyways. Well, you want to be able to make terrifying noises if you want to scare off the dinosaurs. It's true. Maybe that's why she's alive. Because she was raised by the foxes. Oh, yep. this tricky little vixen. am I thinking? Okay, because we're about 40 minutes into it, we still have 20 minutes. That is plenty of time for probably two or three strong pushes to try to make it as far as they can. All they need is one good push. I, I always like how exciting that is, at, at least to me, because, you know, uh, you see that all of the players have been learning the basic mechanics of this game. I bet that some have been paying attention to how they collect lives or when l lives actually increment. Uh, and because of that, they just need to put all of the pieces of the puzzle together uh, on a later attempt. And you're going to see some of the players making more progress. Now, Jeff, I do wonder, because we've been talking a little bit about this game, but I really don't know what is bad about it. Could you... Like, besides that it's dim, which may or may not have been the game itself. Uh, what is bad? Well, um, the frame rate is a little little janky there, but uh, it's mostly the controls. I mean, there's a reason that you need uh, 10, 13 lives on some of these, and you keep seeing people, like, unable to do what seem like they should be very straightforward tasks, like landing on a platform and then jumping off of it <laughs> yeah um so that's kind of what makes this fun. i've seen and the... so many people also just accidentally walk off ledges yes 
Yes, and these are these are highly competent video game players, and you just see them walking off ledges. That's something that doesn't happen with good video games. Yeah, honestly, looking at Steve's screen, the the top of the sky acts as a ceiling, and that can make some of these jumps really tricky. Also, the the box heads on a on a chain that, that's that's a little weird too. I would also not say that bad, mm, but... yeah, their their hitbox is strange. I'd also say a lot of these jumps are <sighs> pixel perfect isn't the right term because you can't actually line up exactly with certain pixels. It's like <laughs> right uh, a five by five square pixel perfect. <laughs> Because that's about how you move. Five pixels or something like that. You definitely are not moving smoothly. So you just got to line up perfectly before you do the jumps. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, it's it's a nice looking game. It's a nice sounding game. Um, the There's nothing wrong with the concept. It's a platformer with some bonus levels. Um, it's just uh, hard to convey how, how janky it is to play other than just seeing how many times people are dying. Yeah. Like, there are a lot of deaths here. And, you know, remember, although some of the players here are new, uh, some of them have played before, and you just never really know what you're going to get into when it comes to Cusa Grande. These are good players. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, they are definitely struggling even with some of the early levels it can be a challenge to get through yeah i mean the idea is of course you want to get through these early levels with as many lives as possible um and just um you know hopefully end up with you know 20 25 lives going into the later part because levels do get a lot harder difficulty ramps up after a few levels and um, you want to be able to just uh, make it through some of these areas without having, you know, focusing on making your jumps, and making progress through the level, yeah. rather than trying to kill every single enemy there. Honestly, the yeah, what what I'm thinking right here, just the way that my brain sort of works with this movement, is uh, sort of the thought, not where am I and what's happening around me, but where do I need to be in three seconds? Uh, yes. And if you can sort of plan that out with your movement uh, and, you know, take things slower, don't rush and don't react to what's happening around you right at that time. React to something that, you know, is in about two seconds because the game doesn't really respond all that well. So, yeah, that that's sort of my mindset with games like this. I just have to remember... Don't react, because if I react, it's going to get me killed. I think that's a good rule in life, generally. Don't react, because it'll get you killed. Don't start a react channel, because it's going to get you killed. <laughs> the react mafia out there just... All right, now so we what... have... Uh... We have a corner Some on the reaction channel. confirmation from somebody who, oh. who's running this on their mister that it is, in fact, just dark. Just a dark game. Really? Yeah, so this is this is correct color emulation, apparently. Aha! Uh -huh. Everybody, we have done nothing wrong. <laughs> I mean, besides <laughs> making people play Vixen and having her dance to her death. I love that. When you follow the water, she's got the best dance. Yes. It's too bad you only get to see it on death. <laughs> eh. Yeah, Tails, by the way, is saying that this game is garbage. One of the other players saying inputs are only a suggestion in this game. <laughs> That's what I mean <laughs> when it comes to thinking seconds ahead instead of, like, reacting to what's going on around you. Now... Also, an additional thought with this, when you are playing a game that has really bad input detection, uh, sometimes what you may wish to do is double tap a button or even triple tap a button at times to make sure it goes through. Uh, this is something that I actually do with some modern games still. This is something that I 
did uh, while speedrunning Xena, the triple tap, making sure that at least one of those goes through is really, really helpful. That's a that's a good insurance policy. Yeah. yeah make sure for you have a lot of taps in the buffer. Sixty dollars a month and I can give you more policies. <laughs> but is there a is there a medical screening required? Yeah. It's gonna be me <laughs> medical, dental, we do a background check, uh, and we check your back. If your back <laughs> If your back has scoliosis, we'll still take you, but you know, you you want to know about it. Uh, we we check uh, the engine as well. <laughs> well, that's a lot, but once you get through all that, that insurance policy is really going to help you on Xena. Heck and, and yeah! Yeah. So I guess that's not that's why there aren't a ton of people uh, speedrunning Xena. Oh, Jeff, they, I wish people would. It's a really fun run that Mike Yama thinks is really boring. And because of that, has never accepted a GDQ. I want to run Xena for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the levels are a bit repetitive. I mean, you get some different monsters. Um, yeah, and the background changes, that visually at least helps you feel that you're making progress. Uh, I, I would say that we've had games that have definitely been less clear when you're moving on. Yeah. And so at least this tries it, but yeah, it is a little bit repetitive. It just gets much more difficult as time goes on because it requires you to uh, jump. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like both Tails and Violet did not pass their personal best. So, honestly, one or two more attempts, that's all you're going to have at this point. Yeah. But all you need is one good attempt, and then you can move into yeah, the lead. Exactly. Yeah, TSD is currently a fox and is eating gems. Which, if you didn't know, is actually their primary source of nutrition, okay? Especially the, 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 uh, garnets. The red. Is that, is that more it, Utah fact? Yeah. <laughs> That's actually one that you have to get Facebook gold in order to get that fact. So, oh, wow. I, I went and got Facebook gold just for all y'all. That's, that's quite kind of you. <laughs> I mean, it's also the least you could do after I got you Animal Crossing. Uh... <laughs> it was a good, good Animal Crossing. I crossed all those animals. You, you did? Yeah. Um, now they're mad. <laughs> oh, no! Ah, uh, burning bridges. Poor animals. You know, okay, here's the deal, Jeff. In Animal Crossing... Uh, the the one on the Switch that I'm playing right now. Uh, we, we've got some okay villagers, and then we have this ugly frog who wears too much makeup. Okay? Like, honestly, if her name wasn't Diva, I'd think that she was trying to be a clown, but I think she's just trying to be a pop star. She is ugly, in my opinion. Well... Did you try kissing her? Because maybe she'll turn into a prince. No, I whacked her with my net and then I reported her to Isabel. Okay? <laughs> I want her out of my island! Get off my island! Freaking survivor on you. Jeff Probsting it up. Kicking you out. Wow. So what's this? I, I don't have this, uh, this Animal Crossing thing because it was made after 1988, but uh, I hear a lot about turnips. You heard That's a lot all about I hear people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I made turnips. a good profit in the turnip in the stock market. Yeah. Uh -huh. I actually got a pretty good price yesterday. Almost doubled my investment, Jeff. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So when people, when I hear people talking about animal, I was time traveling and raising turnips, and you know, there's this 
Tanuki real estate mogul, I'm like, these old games don't sound silly at all compared to that. It's true. Here, we've just got a lady who turns into a fox and kills dinosaurs. Wait, that's a little I... silly, Jeff. It's only a little silly. I mean, it's not like... I mean, could you imagine that if they were like, okay, and also, by the way, there's a Tanuki that runs this planet, and uh, you, you have to... Um, if you want to have real estate, you have to go through him. Okay, look, it's Elon Musk running this planet uh, in the game. Okay, and he okay, ended that's up... that's not canon. Yeah, he brought... What's his name from Jurassic Park? You know. Because guess what? Space has fewer laws. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure it has fewer laws. I, I think it has just as many laws. They're just spread out really far. Jeff, you're a lawyer, okay? What are some space laws? <laughs> I mean, there I, is I need help. actually, like, international pacts on space, but it is a, an interesting developing area of law. Oh, that's actually really cool. I want to learn about space law. Because, <laughs> you know, in theory, when you own property, right, your property extends indefinitely up into the sky except the you know like there's certain permissions the government's allowed to fly airplanes oh yeah stuff like that but in theory there's really no end to how far off into the universe your little parcel of land they give you extended lines in every direction but the you own a pretty decent chunk of the galaxy but the earth is constantly spinning which means that your possessions are constantly changing I feel like well, the... I feel like that doesn't work, <laughs> Jeff. So also, basically, we all own the entire universe as long as you're a landowner. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> mm, I better buy a square foot of land, and then I too can rule a planet. Honestly, though, if if you think about it, uh, the way that it would move is that uh, because the Earth is spherical. It would actually not just be 90 degree angles going up. It would be slightly extended, so it would get wider and wider as it goes off into space. And eventually, you right. may actually cast your little real estate shadow over an entire planet. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, yeah, let's... That's... I, I like this there, idea. There is Jeff. air rights. I, that's what I was saying. The government can uh, can fly their airplanes, uh, can can fly airplanes on it. They have easements over. Well, it, but... whenever they fly over your property, you own that plane. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that. You got to pay really, really <laughs> fast attention. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then you can just call the airport and be like, that pilot stole my plane. There's a question in chat. Sort of. You you do own everything down to the core of the earth with certain exceptions for mineral easements and that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, there are certain places you can't prevent the government from building like pipes and stuff underneath your house. But yeah, you, you own from the core of the earth to the extent of the visible universe. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But at the same time, it would get narrower and narrower as it goes down, so you don't own much of the core. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. But why do you really need a lot of it? It's made of iron. Do you know what I could do with all that iron? Uh, you probably first want to cool it down. Oh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I actually don't think I can do much with that iron. <laughs> oh, <laughs> everybody, we've got five minutes left. Jeff. Craft what something. what are you works? thinking right now about the players? Is there any chance we could see some lead changes at this point? I think um, the furthest level somebody's gotten to is level 10. Is that right? I think it was either level yeah. 9 or level 10. Uh, although, honestly, it's a little bit hard for me to tell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. TSD hit 9. Okay. So honestly, like, Violet Hour appears to be near the beginning of the game. Tails, though, uh, is definitely on a little bit of a later stage, judging off of the sunset. Let's see what level Tails is moving on to now. Hey, level seven. 
that's really good. Honestly, yeah. I, I think Tails could possibly move up a little bit. And we got Violet moving up to two. Okay, so I think this last run for Violet probably isn't going to cause a place change. Ah, oh, Violet! At the same time, like, the color palette looks the same as Tails? I don't and know. Sejuan Steve just entered level 7 as well. Very nice. No, I, I think so. Violet Hour is definitely behind at this point. Uh, right now, TSD moving on to this gross background. Ugh. It's like mud. The the sky mud. The, the mud of the sky right up there. I don't know. Not it's kind of gross. Left. This is going to be everybody's last run. I believe so, yes. And hey, uh, Tails is on to level 8. Wow. This is a really good push, Tails. Hey, TSD is just trying to hold that lead, by the way, also on level 8. Uh, TSD has moved to level 9 before, though, so, that, you know, Tails needs to hurry, but only two lives, Jeff. Yeah. Well, you can gain lives uh, at a decent rate here, too, but... Um, There's not much time. Yeah, I don't think Tails is going to get to level... to the end of level 9. Oh my gosh. <sighs> but but I, I, think I, I don't think TSD made it to the end of level 9. You know, you just have to make a good push through there but one life left i don't know yeah oh there's an extra life okay good a severed head yeah. missing yeah, that steve, head yeah. it's fine not a big deal steve moving on to level eight as well oh my gosh it it's all gonna come Second. down to how all of the players do if tails gets a game over here then that means steve could potentially pass tails yeah. Tails, you got to make this jump, though. Okay, waiting for the dinosaurs to come to their death. Okay, good, good. Oh, and there we go, getting the jump. Uh, Steve does not have very many lives as well. Only one life left. Honestly, Steve just has to do well right now. But only uh, 90 seconds left. Hard. Tails is down. Oh, yeah, the, the, these jumps are not exactly uh, being kind. Not only that, <laughs> like but all of like these so simple. these enemies are taking <laughs> right? so many hits. Steve, that's yeah. a game over. Nobody is going to be uh, catching back up at this point. I think that means it is time. Well, if they have 50 seconds left, let's make them suffer. Okay, we'll just go ahead and let it go. <laughs> we'll, we'll let it keep going. Honestly, as long as they still play. Yeah, it's not time we'll yet. I lied. I lied, everybody. <laughs> Jeff said no time. And I'm I said, just as long as they're still willing to play, I'm not gonna stop them. <laughs> oh really? It looks like Steve is not willing to play, but everybody else is. Oh Steve. <laughs> Honestly, all of the players had a really good push though. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Everybody relax for the next few seconds. This is time. Tails getting to the end of that stage, but not really uh, being able to make up any time, you know, because it's the end. TSD managed to make a good amount of progress through level 9. Tails and Steve both got to level 8, but Tails made it farther through. Steve comes in third, and Violet Hour, I believe, comes in fourth. That appears to be the order. We will be checking the VODs, of course, to make sure that that is correct. Uh, apparently, TSD did make it to level 10, uh, per what they're saying in chat. So, you know, we still, it's, it's the lead. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to think. So, what... Okay, it looks like 
TSD is going to be running away for just one minute. But yeah, whether it was level 9 or level 10, TSD still took the victory today. Oh, Jeff, what, what do you think about what we saw? Uh, people did really well. Uh, again, it's it's hard. It may be hard for people to in chat to realize how difficult. That is the game. That is a game. Oh. <laughs> oh really? TSD. Oh god. Oh. Was was it, it, it really that painful? Like watching it, uh, it definitely looks jerky. I was saying that you probably need to be thinking two seconds ahead rather than reacting yeah, to things it's going not on. Even the Input latency. It's like, so like games have input handlers. This feels like an input stumbler. I think like sometimes it's really responsive, and then other times it's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. How did you, uh, uh, how did you compensate for that? Uh, I learned that you can hold the attack button down to to get frame instant whips, which is the fastest way to deal with enemies rather than trying to time it. You can just hold the attack button, and it'll just automatically go. Oh, that's really helpful. Good, good. Yeah. So. You, you've got machine gun whip controls yeah. there. Just hold the button. What about jumping? Also, what is your input for jump? Uh, on my controller, it was A. Okay. Gotcha. But, uh, jumping, there's no way to make that good. You just gotta master it. Yeah, sort of what I was thinking with a lot of games like that, especially when jumping is really important. Uh, I, I try to double tap or triple tap jump yeah. just to make sure it goes through. Were you doing that a little bit? Yeah, and a lot of times I would stop at the edge of a pit and then do a neutral jump in place and then press right as soon as I could because this game has influence over your jump. It's not quite like Castlevania, at least. So okay. you do have control. Okay. But uh, the hard part is that you basically have to make every jump at the very edge of the platform. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I noticed that. it Especially... Uh, uh, in some of the stages where the platforms were high, so the sky yep. acted as a ceiling for you. Yep, and of course, stage six I found to be the hardest, actually. Oh, I think that one's the one where they make you platform the most. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, oh yeah, you can't really combat that. And they throw flying enemies, which have very interesting hitboxes. Oh so yeah. I don't, think, I don't think crouching actually shrinks your hurtbox. I feel uh, like it doesn't. Yeah, chat was saying that as well. I, I think that... I would probably agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> this seems to be. And I think the pterodactyls have a hitbox that it extends way far past their butt. I don't think you can jump behind them very safely. Yeah, honestly, oh. Jeff, everything that I'm seeing right now uh, from all of the players, they pretty much agree that this game was butts. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Was there anything good, anything redeemable at all? The music? The music was all right, yeah. Sound design was okay for an Amiga game. Yeah, I, uh, I thought the music was pretty fun. Yeah. What was your uh, strategy for the bonus levels? Uh, basically, I just I tried to get bonus levels when um whenever like I noticed I was losing a lot of lives or I was just dying a lot because you can get the gem bonus which lets you get ten thousand points which I think is a one up, and the bonus levels give you a whip upgrade which is really helpful. Okay, good. At least you know it had some logic there where it actually helped you out instead of just punishing you. I yeah. Although I learned that if you mess up on the bonus stage, which happened once, you disappear and then you lose everything you got in it. It's just, that's it. Oh, yeah. You have, to, you have to slowly walk to the end, knowing that you've lost everything you just got. It was a waste of time. No, that I'm, hurts. If I'm not mistaken, you have played in Cusa Grande before, right? No, this is my first tournament. Oh, this... I've just played a oh, lot wow. of terrible really games impressive. in my life. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, honestly, for your first Cusa Grande match, Fantastic! That was a great job. You know, you never know how you're going to do if you're going to do better than average or worse than average. Uh, I tend to be a little bit on the worst side, but you, you just don't know until you play. Yeah, the good news is it was very Castlevania adjacent, even though it was horrible. Like, you know, there's, there's a bit of that there. Oh, yeah. Just a wee bit. A little bit, a little bit. Well, we're going to have to move on. Thank you so much, TSD. Uh, Thank and you. And I really appreciate you choosing this game, Jeff. TSD, is there anything you're streaming right now that people should come check you out for? Uh, at the moment, no, but tomorrow I'll be streaming a bunch of Mario stuff on my stream. Ooh, Mario. Okay, if you yeah. like Mario, go check TSD out. I will talk to both of you later. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.
everybody, this is Cusa Grande, the bad video game tournament. We tend to have games that generally are going to be a little bit painful, although sometimes we end up with games that are uh, definitely fun to play, just uh, on the unusual side is what I would say. I want to go ahead and let you know about a couple things coming up. Tonight, for example, we have the Hay Fever Speedrunning Tournament deadline for getting your speedrun done. Now, honestly, because there are not too many times on the leaderboard, you can probably get in if you complete uh, one run, even with deaths, even with mistakes. All you have to do, go check out challenge.com slash hayfever, sign up there, upload a run to SRC if for some reason you can't get a run up there quickly enough, uh, or if they're just taking a while to verify, shoot me a link on Discord. I'll be fine with that. Uh, just get that in by the end of the day today if you want to join. Also, we have a license thon coming. Uh, I, I believe Tempestrel in chat is planning a lot of this. Uh, they definitely need some volunteers and some help, and they would also like some runs. So if you run like Shrek or whatever this sports team is on the bottom right, American Gladiators, the sports team, uh, or if you run Johnny Depp games, then yeah, you are probably running the games that are right for this. Uh, if it's licensed, it's usually cool, so I would definitely agree with that. So honestly, uh, this sounds like it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm definitely keeping an eye on this. Tempestrol has been fantastic uh, talking about possibilities for this, and I'm probably going to submit too. Everybody, it would be great.